What's going on, everybody? It's Hugo here with Dozer, uh, my uh, Salcata turtle. Um, here he is, a little guy. Um, he was kind of sleeping right now. So this is day two with him. And um, I saw him eating some leafy greens today. He actually ate quite a bit of leafy greens, as you can see. I have his little stack, but if you can see closely right there where my thumb is, all that, he chewed all that up. So he had a good amount of leafy greens today. He didn't eat any crickets or superworms or anything like that. And then um, he did. I did see him go into the water bowl. Uh, I don't know if he drank any water. Um, but yeah, he went into his water bowl. And um, I actually want to weigh him and see how much he weighs. And he weighs 1.7 ounces on day two. Don't know how much he weighed yesterday. But um, I'm very glad that he's doing good. And um, his his enclosure, um, what I have, I don't know if I showed it yesterday, but his enclosure was just a long see-through plastic tub, uh, like a storage bin that you can get at um, at uh, Walmart. Paid like six bucks for it. Uh, but I was seeing that he was having issues with the tank so what I did is I went to a forum a reptile forum and I looked up Salcata tur turtles and according to what they're saying is that these type of turtles um, if you put them in an enclosure and they can see through something they're gonna continue to try to get through that either digging or knocking something over and when he gets older um, he'll he can knock over quite a bit um, from one of they get pretty strong so um, what I did was I went down to the um, dollar dollar store and I bought a black container for a dollar now yes I know this is an oil pan but it served this purpose he is no longer trying to get out of the cage so he knows that this is an enclosure and he's not trying to go through it so he spends more time um, mm. eating drinking and um, and bathing basking in the sun in the light than actually trying to get out of the enclosure so that's energy well spent I believe and is a little bit better for him um, this is not going to be his permanent um, situation here uh, I am actually going to build him out of wood um, probably a container about the same size as the plastic tub that I got him uh, and then put all the lights in there and put in some uh, some hide boxes and stuff like that might not put in a plant because I'm not trying to put too much water in inside of his uh, contain in his uh, his habitat because I don't want it to rot out the wood or possibly get some kind of mold or him having a respiratory issue especially since I live in Lancaster it gets pretty cold last night it actually got down to about 10 degrees to the point where I woke up and everything outside was dusted in white even though it didn't um, rain or snow so, uh, but it was a very nice warm temperature in here for them with their lights. Um, I went online and I ordered some ceramic bulbs um, so they can get better heat at night because I do, n I, I have noticed that on my lizard uh, on Mac, he, the light does disturb him uh, from the red bulb from the heat lamp. So I, I don't want him to be disturbed because he actually has to have a night and day cycle. So um, that, and he needs to have shade from the UV rays whenever he wants. Uh, this guy, on the other hand, he he needs a somewhere to hide when he wants to get away from it being so hot. So um, again, you know, I got him a temporary uh, enclosure here. Uh, I'm hoping to not take too long in getting him exactly what he needs because, yes, I do care about him. <laughs> I do care um, I don't want him to suffer too much uh, or be uncomfortable too much because I know it's going to be hard on him and he might he could get sick on me and I don't want him to get sick so uh, quality, quality, blah, blah, quality of life is what I want to get him make sure that uh, the quality of life is good and he's just chilling he's just checking me out All right, what's up little guy let me see pick up the cricket Maybe I can entice him with a cricket. Let's see if he'll eat it. Oh, you see him? Oh, 
Oh yeah, you see it. He saw it. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Oh. He's looking dead at it. No? Not interested? No. Don't think he's interested. <laughs> but that would have been... That would have been a good sight to see. Well, you know what? I'll put... No, I shouldn't have put him in there. But here we are. We're going to sign off for today. Uh, day two, he, he weighed 1.7 ounces today on day two. Um, I don't know exactly when he was born, so I can't. I don't know, but I'm going to count him from yesterday. And yesterday being day one, uh, today's day two. And we'll see how much he weighs in day three. Hopefully he can gain some, uh, some weight. Um, as far as diet's concerned, um... So far, I'm only giving him some leafy greens that I had here at home. I've had, I haven't had too much time the last couple of days to get them exactly what they needed. So I'm doing my best with the time that I have. Um, right now, it's kind of late, so I can't really go anywhere to, to get them what they need. But tomorrow, I am going to pick up some alfalfa for them. And uh, alfalfa, and I, f I forgot what the other one was. But I'm hoping th that I can get him all the vitamins, nutrients, and the types of foods that he likes to eat that will help him grow because that's what you know this is all about after I want to see how fast he grows uh, you guys are gonna watch him grow with me which is awesome and yeah alright so it's Dozer and me signing off bye